Hey, how you doing? Hey, I am working on this Pro Max 610 right now, and I've been at it for a few hours. So let me give you an update of where I'm at and kind of what I decided to do. Um, so this saw, I'm actually building this saw for another YouTube channel. It is for Mr. Obsolete's Vintage Home Setting. And, you know, I want to make him a nice running saw. But I don't want to get crazy. You know what I mean? I, I just, I want it to be reliable. So, I have been doing some things here. So, let me kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing. Okay. But being that this is a clamshell, you know, that just makes things a lot more difficult. So, there's two, it's basically two methods you can do this. And that is to take it off the base and redo your bearing pockets or take it off the top and cut yourself a new head. Uh, basically, a, it's a pretty extreme modification. You got to cut the top off, machine a head and all that stuff. Now, there's things you want to consider here. So adjusting squish by making a custom head will only adjust the squish. That's the only thing you're going to affect. But if you take it off the base, you're going to affect your intake timing, your transfers, you know, your blowdown, everything. And so the only way for me to get the timing numbers I want at the intake, exhaust, transfers, squish, and everything is for me to do it off the base. Now making the adjustment off the base is going to be the biggest pain in the rear you know she's rough this is why you very rarely see somebody adjusting the timing at the base in these clamshells because of how difficult it is to get everything just right but for me to achieve what I want this is the only option all right, so here it is. Um, so what I ran into is during testing. So the saw was pulling RPM, but it didn't have the torque that I wanted. So, you know, I went over it. It had a squish number. It was, I can't remember the exact number. It was pushing 60 thousands. And I just, I knew I wasn't going to be able to achieve a lot off of that. And I wasn't happy with the blowdown number. The blowdown number was quite low on this. And I didn't want to adjust the exhaust roof higher to get more blowdown because then, because of my squish issue, I just, you know, I'd lose torque. And that's, you know, not the direction I wanted to go. So what I decided to do was to adjust the squish on this saw. Now, you got different options. Um, one option would be cut the top off and build a custom head, and that will adjust your squish. But I wanted to do everything. I wanted to adjust squish. I wanted to be able to adjust blowdown. I wanted to lower the exhaust roof and all that stuff. So my best option was to take it off of the base. So that's what I've been doing. It is, you know, a painstaking process. I had to adjust. What, well, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually working on the bearing pockets. I'm getting everything set with the bearing pockets first. And right now I have this side of the cylinder sitting at 18 thousandths and this side of the cylinder sitting at 20 thousandths. So I'm just going to take a little tiny bit more on this side until I get both sides sitting at 18. Then... I still have to adjust this seam here between the two halves. Um, and I'll, I'll be measuring, you know, both, both sides of the cylinder, you know, by making, and making sure that everything is right. And I'm looking for 18 thousandths the whole way around the piston. And I'm gonna make real small adjustments by hand until I get that. Uh, I just would not be able to achieve the numbers I wanted unless I did this. So that's the route I decided to take. Uh, 
It's the most difficult path I could have taken to get the numbers that I wanted. You know, this is this adjustment here is I'm probably looking at what five hours easily working this slowly by hand until I got you know the numbers I wanted. But you know, it's probably gonna take me more than five hours, actually. I bet you I'm three hours into it now. And I still got to get two thousands here, and then I still got to adjust this part. So, you know, it, I, I could end up with six plus hours just doing this adjustment. But I thought you guys would be interested in this. That this was the most difficult path, but it is the path that I decided to take. So yeah, it, it was. You know, this has been a challenge. Uh, takes a tremendous amount of patience to. Uh, to pull this off, you know, and hopefully I get it. Now, it, uh, now for me to get, you know, everything lined up perfectly, basically I've just been, you know, taking my dirty hands and getting some dirt on the bearing. And whenever I seat it in the pocket and kind of tighten things up a little bit, the, uh, the dirt transfers into the bearing pocket and I can see my high spot, so I just keep working the high spots until everything settles in and gets, you know, where I need it. Uh, the last final little wee bit I will do with lapping compound and, you know, basically get that final polish to get it formed up with the bearings as best as I can. So that's where I'm at. Uh, it's a path I decided to take. Yes, it is the most difficult path to take. And it takes a tremendous amount of time just for a small adjustment. But that's what I decided to do. The saw just didn't have enough torque for me. And this was the best method I could think of to help that. Uh, the squish number will still be in an area where we're used to. But the factory exhaust port is designed in a manner to release compression to make it easy to start. It has like this little notch taken out of it. So, I don't promise that it'll perform like a saw we're used to with this kind of number set up. Um, that's kind of one of the reasons I want the exhaust roof lower and everything. Uh, it's just, it's got this little thing to it, you know, in the design that I will not be able to, to uh, overtake. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. So, you know, we'll do the best we can with what we got, you know. It's all we can do. Uh, I doubt it performs, you know, like modern day saws, but it should perform better than a factory saw. Uh, if it doesn't, then I did something wrong, right? <laughs> but hey, thought you'd enjoy this and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.